happening this Friday. Lots of people like to buzz around, maybe on their e-scooters or their e-bikes or hoverboards. U.S. Consumer Product Safety Commission says they're proving to be increasingly risky and even in some cases deadly. 41 killed in a two-year period okay. that they looked at. Well, three years here, 2017, 2018, and 2019. Uh, and a lot of injuries, Heather's. We've talked. We've talked about this on the show before. 133,000 is sort of the estimate, right? Because a lot of people don't go to the emergency room. No, or the but they can. Isn't great. They can get that data and then use sample sizing to get, get to that guess. number. Yeah, I'm sure that's true, right? right. Um, you know, and of course, the rise in this is that uh, there are e-scooters that are available. Some of it are these scooters that people rent in cities, and some right. of it is that. You know, e-scooters have gotten fairly affordable, so a number of people are buying them, and instead of maybe biking to right. work or whatever, you're riding the e-scooter. And you have the e-scooter, and a lot of times this might be someone's first time on the e-scooter if they're renting it. Yeah. Uh, we've talked about this lots of times in the past. They don't come with helmets, so many people riding around on these e-scooters yeah. without helmets there. It's interesting, well, though. Well, that's not going to prevent an accident, though, It won't right? prevent an accident, but it could prevent a death. And you yeah. look at these deaths, you're talking about 41 people killed, which is more, that's, that one's not the estimate. But it looks like it's mostly men, they say, uh, on these e-scooters who then collided with a car. Uh, there and that's how the really serious accidents are having. But sometimes it's it's pedestrians. Sometimes it's people just falling and and losing control. Um, yeah. well, and not and not to like downplay that number 41, but right. you're talking about 13 deaths a year. I it's, mean that is not a tremendous when you consider the number of people who are riding these. To no. me, that's a fairly small. You know compared to pedestrian injury, and some of these are pedestrian, right. I believe. But, but some cities have taken the, that have said, look, we're gonna ban these things. You know, if something happened in Nashville where there was a yeah. man um, I, drinking and he was killed um, when he crashed into a car. And then the cities down there said, look, we're not gonna do this anymore. And so- And so what's the problem? Those things are people drinking. I mean, I think it's easy to look at these because they're new right. and because uh, people who make policy uh, tend to be our age mm -hmm. and they think these things are well we didn't do these and they look really fast and they look dangerous right. to me 13 a year like I, again it sounds terrible it to is, be saying right. it's not many but it's mm -hmm. not many when you look at the number of people riding these and the fact that you are in traffic you are on the road yes just like, like a bicycle would be on yeah the road so don't there. you think like just better education and making sure that people understand that these concerns are legit Absolutely. there are safety concerns and you need to be aware when you're out there and if you are doing this for the first time and you don't know what you're yeah. doing and you don't need a license for this yeah. uh, and you don't need any practice for this beforehand and then you are getting on the road because remember these e-scooters are right. not allowed on the sidewalks then you're getting on the road yeah, I've you seen it you know when they had them out here on Nicolette Mall I've seen I've yeah. seen some pretty hairy situations sure sure so yeah. yeah and people drive like idiots in cars too and we don't ban right. those so I think it's an education thing mm -hmm. for sure yeah. let's talk about the